What's up guys, it's Jay here, Jay Media one and we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro Series case for the iPad Mini 6th generation. This is the 8.3 inch model. It supports Apple Pencil charging with built-in screen protector, full body rugged kickstand, and it is black in color. I believe there are several other colors as well. This thing is only $26.99, so we're going to give it a look. So let's just get straight to the unboxing. Let's go, guys. Okay, guys, so here we have it. This is the Unicorn. This thing's supposed to have really good drop protection, all kinds of cool things. It's got a multi-layer design. It's got a built-in screen protector, 360-degree protection, and it is dustproof. So we're going to give this thing a shot, subcase is the brand so there's just a little tab here we're going to pull that back and we're going to fold this open slide it out excuse my desk is a little dirty here so we're going to pull this right out of the plastic we got a knife here the plastic seal at the top so we got to cut this open get through that once we get through the plastic, we can see the case here. Now, the cool part about this is it does come with this little install guide. But the cool part about this is it has that slot for the Apple Pencil. And we think that's really, really neat. So, it's got this little plastic protection on the front, which we're going to leave open. It does have a little flip out on the back, so you guys can set it up as a stand. Or you can flip it over this way and use it as a stand in that direction. So, that's cool. And there's our cutout for our camera. And this is for the new gen iPad mini. So we have our slot down here at the bottom. You can open up that slot as well. And that's going to allow you to plug it in to charge. We also have our buttons here. That's gonna be our toggles for our volume rockers. And then they do have a little slot here for the on off button or the sleep wake button. And so there's a, this silicone around the outside edge that makes it stronger, but it's also plastic on the inside. There's these little feet here. You can see these little feet, and these feet are gonna allow it to set down and not slide around too much, so that's kind of nice. But I like how flush this sits in the back. That's really neat. So we're going to separate this. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna get the iPad mini in there. We have it right here. So as you can see, it's going to fit quite nicely inside there. Typically with these kind of cases, you have to pry them out. And if you see here, it says insert, insert a coin into the corner divot and split the front and back case entirely. And that's going to be this divot right here. I don't know if we need a coin, we can just kind of pull it off. It would be more helpful if you had a coin, just because it's easier to get your finger in there. But this just peels off around here like this. You gotta be careful not to Try to hyper extend that plastic too much. And there's a little bit of foam in there just to protect it during shipping. And then this film has to be peeled off before we can insert it. So we got to pull this plastic back like that and get that off there. And this plastic piece on the front is going to be our built in screen protector as well. So we just get the iPad lined up. Slide it in there like this. And there's a little lip on this outside edge here. This outside edge, so we gotta kind of pry it back off that lip. And that just keeps it snug inside of there. So now that we got it in there nice and tight, just like that, then we can go ahead and put the back piece back on it. And you want this flap to stay down. This is a really hard plastic here on the inside. And then the cutout for the camera's right there. So we're just gonna kinda try to fold it into here like this. And we're gonna get the silicone to come back up around the lip. So it just fits in there like that. And you just slowly go all the way around until the silicone comes up and over top of that lip. You guys have probably heard of a lot of different cases like this, like OtterBox and things, but I heard really good reviews on this. So I thought I would give it a shot, see how well it does. Sometimes when you buy something, 
that's as expensive as an iPad. You want to make sure it's protected, but ultimately it just gives you more comfort in knowing that it's not going to crack or smash onto the ground. And so there's the flap there. We just slide that back in and that's going to protect the charging port, which is really nice. And it feels good. It feels like it's pretty sturdy. It's going to hold in there. And we can peel this off here. So that, that leaves just the screen. So the responsiveness of these things is what's key because a lot of times when you have this built-in screen protector, um, you have a hard time with screens being responsive. And it isn't as good, of course, as it would be on just a normal screen, but it does give you that extra layer of protection. There's already a screen protector on the glass, which probably isn't helping with the responsiveness of it. But like I said, you get that extra layer of protection there. There's our toggle switches here, and those seem to work pretty good. There, there's our cutout, and that's gotta be cut out because we got Touch ID now. So we have to have this cut out so that we can open it up, which is fine. I like the little Apple Pencil slot. I think that's a super huge bonus. So we're gonna test it. We got our Apple Pencil, right like this. We just drop it down in there and it, it's magnetic. So it does attach and it's not going to fall out. The cool part is you got this little cutout on the back so you can pop the Apple Pencil out like that and get it out of there. Of course, let it roll across the table, but you do have that cutout for that reason. So the Apple Pencil's got that flat spot that's just gonna attach itself to the, the iPad and you can see that it's connected. So it is working and I like how it sets back to where you can hold it and your finger is on top of the Apple Pencil at this point. And there is a cutout for the camera right there. And on the back, you got your camera cutout, your flash cutout. And then of course you got this, this little flap that opens up and it slides down. And that's gonna be our stand so that it sits like this. And we can flip it like this as well. So that's also nice. It's just gonna be a good case to protect your investment. And that's really the major point. This is just an added bonus. I don't know um, how good this wouldn't be in your lap. It probably wouldn't be good at all. But the fact of the matter is, is that you have it there and it pops out when you need it to. So that's really cool. So that's it guys. This is the Unicorn Beetle case. And we think it's a pretty good case. It's, it seems like it, you can slam this thing on the ground and it's not gonna hurt it. Because you got that silicone plus the plastic, the silicone is your first layer of absorption and then the plastic is going to be second, of course. So we're gonna give this thing a try for a while and we'll report back to you guys. So let's just get right to the tech specs. So as you guys can see, this was a pretty cool case, pretty heavy duty. Seems like it will do the job quite well. So we're gonna go over some features and details. It's designed for the iPad mini 6 gen, like we said. Its unique design supports the Apple Pencil 2's magnetic attachment as well as wireless charging capabilities. It is shock resistant, multi-layered, and it has the PC hard shell and flexible TPU which provides protection against accidental drops, bumps, and impacts. It has the built-in screen protector which prevents scratches without compromising sensitivity and functionality, and the pop-out kickstand which allows easy access to your favorite shows, movies, and games while on the go. Easy access to ports and functions while port covers keep out dust and debris. Now the kickstand is cool and it tucks away really nice and that's a benefit. It doesn't seem like it's just going to pop out on you, so we really like that feature. As far as the ports go, I think we're going to have no problem plugging in a USB-C to this thing. USB-C's seem to be easier, especially with all the dongles and things like that out today. So we aren't going to have any problems there, and you guys saw the cutout for the fingerprint touch ID. Package dimensions, 8.31 by 6.3 by 0.75 inches, and this thing only weighs in at 8.4 ounces. This thing has 4.7 out of 5 star reviews on Amazon, and we think it's definitely worth a look, guys, for the price. If you guys want to get one of your very own, we will leave a link in the product description below. And other than that, guys, if you like this video, make sure to mash the like button. Subs get subscribed to the channel because we're releasing, releasing new tech reviews all the time. And be sure to check out our podcast. That's going to be at J Media One. 
And that is across platforms. It's on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. And we will see you guys in the next Product Tech Review video. Later, guys.